Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the very first Dapper Gentleman's Podcast. Uh, we're going to be here talking about Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. We started playing it for about, I'll say, an hour today, uh, which was, it was released uh, at midnight uh, on the 24th of August. Yeah, uh, UK time, yeah. UK time. Uh well, what can I say about the actual game itself? Um, it, it's a it looks a it looks a beautiful game and uh, things like that, and it looks really engaging to the uh, to the player. But so far, well, the the stuff we've played, we had to rebind all our keys. Uh, even then, it still was playing up very much. So we're going to delay uh, delay playing it for uh, and until there's a, a, at least a patch to counter these dodgy dodginess you know uh when i first started it up it uh come up um windowed so you know uh so it didn't even go full screen when i first started it up well so uh, what else was there shall i uh right uh, there's no graphic options for it for yeah one. That's, that's one that's one which is because if you look at assistance specs it says you need a little at minimum 9,800 GT minimum, but the thing is, what I've seen of it, it doesn't because I play the Xbox and it they're a little bit better, but they aren't that much improvements. And I think if you have here something like an 8,800 GT or 8,600 GT, it should play it, but don't quote me on it. But this is like the first impression of it because I haven't seen anything. Wow, you know, you, you compare the console one to the, the PC version, and it's like. I mean, I don't mind console ports sometimes. Uh, I think the best console port I play was probably Max Payne 3 because they delayed the game for about a month. They got the controls right, spot on. They got yeah. DirectX 11 options on and things like that. But this game, you can't do graphics options on it. Uh, to actually uh, have inventory menu, you got to press the end key on your keyboard, which is a bit unusual for a... Yeah, man. What other games do you have for inventory key? Usually, it's an I or escape in most games today. Yeah. I mean, pff, it's awkward. I try to remap every key. You try and block and walk at the same time. Um, you can't do that. Um, pff, it's just, I think the from software and Bandai. Look, PC gamers do not like half arsed console ports. We hate them. And I'll sit to death, us PC players, getting shafted all the time, so you can make a quick buck. You know, I'm just sick of it, Mike. Us PC gamers get shafted. I really am, because I think PC gamers is bigger than the console game market. I mean, you look at the games, some of the games that come out of the years. You know, like for, for prime example, the Battlefield 2. How long has that been out? What, seven years? And it's still going strong because yep. it's got dedicating servers and things like that. But when you make uh, a console port and over PC, you should take note, not everybody has got an Xbox 360 controller. I hardly use a controller. I'm, I much prefer the controls of the keyboard I'm more comfortable with. Let me, let me put a quote. Right. Now, this is going to be an outrageous quote. This is what my old man says, and it's a tr it's a true <laughs> fact. Now, playing this is just a slight different category. Playing first-person shooters on a controller is basically masturbating with boxing gloves. <laughs> right? It That's is. Hilarious. It is seriously because you got to have all this bloody auto aim crap on everything. And yeah. this is what this game's like. It's like playing keyboard of a half gimp game, masturbating on the keyboard with boxing gloves on. Because that's what it feels like. Because, Indeed. you know, I'm just set to death with... <sighs> I've been looking forward to this game all year. You know, I played the Xbox version, and it was really well done. I'm not bothered about the graphics, because I know from a console point of view um, you know you're not going to get everything away you know like L.A. Noir, Grand Theft Auto series um, Mass Effect 
Um, but I'd say the best one I've noticed with console port is Max Payne 3 this year, so far. Yeah. Um, because, like, you give you Direx 11 um, options, controls, everything. You know, Indeed. it's really well made. It was made for the PC as well. Why can't you do what Rockstar did and talk to the body PC community and gaming group? This is absolutely perfect. I it's basically it's unplayable. Uh, yeah, it's people, unplayable, lads. People are going troll. Well, I got used to it. Well, yeah, but the thing is, if you haven't played Dark Souls series, then you are going to struggle. You try and walk and block. You can't do it. You no, can't. you can't. You can't. There's there's traps. Um, your movement's got to be p precise. This is not like Skyrim with floaty combat, in melee. I'm telling you now, this game will punish you and crush you. And I'm telling you that now. And you need the controls. I mean, I'll tell you what was bad, Mike. Um, you can't even map your was it your weapon keys, your your spell keys to yeah, number can, keys. Yeah, that is pathetic. That. You can cha like change like your left-handed weapon to like a heavier weapon by pressing one, you know, or, or two or three. You couldn't do it at all. So I don't know what's happening with uh with this well, game. I'll be checking forums. Um you know <sighs> The cynical Brit he has stated on his uh Twitter account that he knows of the problems about Dark Dark Siders uh of a state. Uh, you see what you're doing and I and from software. You see what you're doing? You're getting basically famous people off YouTube um ranting the game already on well, uh, less than well, 14, 14 hours. 14 hour release. It's pathetic, really, because um, I love RPG, and I was hoping, you know, me and Mike our projects, you know, have a bit of playthrough, have a bit of rage-inducing uh, episodes, but we can't do that now because... I know Max got control with, but he's more comfortable as a PC gamer, and he shouldn't yeah. have to resort to a controller. I think controllers are made for for PC are made for fighting games and racing games only, and, and football games. And, yeah, and like FIFA games and Pro Evo things like, that, but not for this sort of game. Come on, it's lazy. Yeah, it's absolutely lazy, and I'm sure the game is. I mean. Actually, I know the game is very good um, because, like I said, I played um, Demon Souls on PlayStation 3. Okay, I didn't get very far because I was raging, <laughs> but I like the idea. It was like the old school hardcore gaming RPG, what the people crave for these days. Because I think RPGs today are a bit too easy. A matter of fact, there's no uh, no reward system for combat if you get it right. You know, um, but this game, you know, is done something different. But control wise, it's damn right pathetic. It just really is. Um, we'll try and do a different project while we're waiting. Maybe yeah. go on the Saints Row. Uh, Saints Row, Saints Row the third. Yeah. Um. Or hell, uh, another single player game possibly in the pipeline. I mean, we suppose we could do Metro 2033, do a commentary. You know, we yep. could do little stuff like that. Um, well, I'm disappointed as you are who followed us and subscribed to, to us. We we are disappointed. We're very as a disappointed. You know, it's just. He's going to rage, man. Big time. Yeah, you, think this is a, you think this is around to wait till Jason comes on? I'm telling you now. He will. Actually, we'll do another second half of the interview after this. Uh, bring my cousin in. And yep. his reaction to it. Anyway, uh, Guess that's this it is for the, now. End of the end of the podcast for now. Thank you for listening. Please... Uh, if you're thinking about the game, just hold on for a bit. Yeah, just because hold on. surely 
Uh, they must have some emails. Um, I mean, and I'm just complaints. going to have a look on the form. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies and gents. We'll uh, catch you uh, in in a while when we get uh, Jason's opinion of the game. Thank you. Now. Thanks once again. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Yeah. Thank.